when a cardiac cycle begins, all four chambers are in diastole and all four valves are closed. Because the AV valves are closed, no blood is entering the ventricles. The ventricles are not filling. So the right ventricle and the left ventricle are not increasing their volume while the left and right AV valves are closed. Shortly after the T wave of the previous cardiac cycle, the high pressure in the atria forces the atrioventricular valves open against the low pressure of the ventricles. And then the ventricles can begin to fill. Slowly at first, as blood simply passively passes from areas of uh, high pressure to low pressure, but then actively when the myocardium of the atria undergoes systole to squeeze the last remaining uh, amount of blood from the atria into the ventricles. As the QRS complex begins and the atria end their systole, the uh, ventricles are now at their fullest uh, point, their greatest volume, and this is known as the end diastolic volume. When the ventricles are done their diastole, uh, they are at their fullest given that they have been filling during the end portion of their diastole, and their fullest volume is known as the end diastolic volume. This applies to both the right ventricle and the left ventricle.